Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you all of the swatches of the new Chanel Fall 2022 lipsticks and nail polishes. I've already shown you the eyeshadow palette, which I love, adore, and I've used it so much. I showed you also the new tweed palettes from Chanel, but today I'm going to focus on the swatches of the lipsticks and the nail polishes. Today I'm going to do my makeup using these new products and also I'm going to show you swatches in natural light of all of the lipsticks and all of the nail polishes. I'm also going to give you a full review of the nail polishes because I've already worn them for the past five days and I have to say that I'm quite impressed with the results. Now let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love beauty talks, be sure to join the fun subscribe. I would love to have you here. I am very impressed this fall from Chanel. Today I don't have anything on my face. I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette to create a look. I wanted to start with the Get Ready With Me because I don't have anything on my face right now. And if you only want to see the swatches of the lipsticks and the nail polishes, then be sure to check out the description box. I'm going to make sure to leave timestamps for those of you who don't want to watch the whole Get Ready With Me. Today for my base, I'm going to be using actually the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer. I have the shade one. I have also the shade zero, but initially when I purchased the shade one, I didn't know that in Europe we have zero because in the past we only used to have the shade one. And anyways, I want to use the shade one right now, even though I purchased also zero. So what I'm going to do for my base, I'm going to be using the Sisley Tinted Moisturizer in the shade one. This is one of my favorite products. And then I'm going to be using the Chanel Complexion Touch, just a touch here. And I'm going to mix them together so that I can get the right color. And this is going to give me um, a little bit of color. Now my skin is a little bit deeper than usual. However, shade number one from Sisley is way too dark for me. So that's why I mix it with the complexion touch from Chanel. And if I mix it well on my hand, it actually works. We're going to see now actually how it's going to work, but I'm going to shear out the coverage. Okay, overall, I think that it looks okay. And then I'm going to be using a little bit of the complexion touch only the complexion touch for my under eye area. I don't want to apply too much, but still I need a little bit of concealing here. So what I like to do is I like to apply this product with a brush, tap a little, and then use a damp beauty blender to really make the coverage seamless. So I just want to go over with my beauty blender then I'm quickly going to apply a little bit of brow wax and to brush my brow. So I'm going to keep the look quite natural today. Well, maybe actually fill in just a little bit my brows. And I'm going to make sure to leave a link to my brow products because these are like my signature brow products that I have been using for months, probably for half a year. And I really love them. I love this brow pencil. This is from Floresis and it's powder brow pencil. It looks very natural. Next, a little bit of blush on my cheeks. And I'm actually going to add more blush probably after I finish my eye makeup. I just want to apply a little bit right now. For my eyes, I really, really love this palette. I use it almost every single day when I want to create a makeup look, when I feel like wearing makeup. So I'm gonna be using this matte color. This is such a soft, lovely shade. Going to be using it only in my crease. just with the circular motions. These colors blend so effortlessly and beautifully. I have been enjoying this eyeshadow palette a lot, just as much as I enjoy actually the Tweet number no. four eyeshadow palette from Chanel. 
This one is so pretty. Next I'm going to be taking this shade. I'm going to be using the same brush. I like to mix the colors because they blend so beautifully together. I'm going to apply this on top, but I want to focus it a little bit more on the mobile eyelid. And then I'm going to be using the shimmery shade from Tweet number four. I adore this color. I'm going to use it with my fingertip just in the inner corner of my eye to add some light. So I like to tap this one with fingers first and then I'm going to use a brush for more precise application and for blending. Chanel have released so many beautiful products this fall season. I would love to ask you what's your favorite one. If you can name one or a couple of products that are your favorites, that's going to be great. I think it's going to be useful for our whole community because I don't really know, I can't pinpoint a certain product that I like because I think that a lot of the releases were so beautiful and I can't really tell which one is my favorite, so I would rely on you. Next, I want to line my eyes with Prune Intense and this one is number 36 of Chanel Stilu U Waterproof. I really love this kind of a plummy color. I have very little left actually. I want to show you this beautiful plummy shade. I think it's perfect for the fall season. So I'm just going to line my upper lash line. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara. So this is with the mascara on and I want to apply a little bit of this beautiful burgundy, almost like burgundy color. I want to apply just a little bit on my lower lash line, but I'm going to take the color on the back of my hand. I want just a little bit of color and I'm going to connect my lower lash line. Okay, I think that's fine for now and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my brows once again. Now, we're moving on to the beautiful lipsticks. First of all, I'd like to show you swatches of all of the colors, the whole collection. I think that this nude collection is so beautiful from Chanel. And this is actually not a nude, nude, nude collection because there are some statement colors. There are a couple of statement colors. I think that this lipstick collection is truly spectacular, beautiful because it's going to suit so many different skin tones. I think that here you can find colors for everyone. I really like that Chanel actually created different shades of nude. I was actually expecting that we are going to have more rosy nudes, but there are also brown nude colors, which I truly love and truly appreciate because it's so hard to find beautiful nude colors. I think that this was a very wise move from Chanel because they usually have a lot of red colors, red lip colors, but they didn't really have enough nude lipsticks. And I think that this decision to make this collection and to release a whole range of beautiful nude lipsticks is really great. And I see that a lot of the colors, they are going to suit so many different skin tones from the fairest complexions to the deepest complexions. I think that these colors are going to suit everyone. I think that the colors that they created are truly exceptional, exquisite, absolutely beautiful. In a minute, I'm going to show you the four lipsticks that I decided to purchase from this collection. And I think that I'm going to be using those a lot. Before that, I want to show you also swatches of the nail polishes. And I didn't have time to film the video, but I have been wearing the nail polishes for the past five days and I haven't been gentle. I have to say that these nail polishes, I've worn them for the past five days, but I had to soak my hands in rubbing alcohol 
every single day. There is a reason for that and this is how my nails look after five days of wear. Now, excuse the bad nail polish application. I usually don't apply nail polish that bad but but I was really in a hurry at one of my local Chanel counters and I wanted to apply all colors on my nails for you guys so that you can see them and um, you can decide for yourself if you want to purchase any of these nail polishes or not. I think that the nail polishes are truly beautiful. I decided to pick two of the nail polishes, but I'm definitely going to be purchasing two more because as I started wearing them, I really, really like them. Now, let me go ahead and try the lipsticks as well. I was very excited to see that the lipsticks are actually from the Rouge Allure line from Chanel. This is my favorite lipstick line from Chanel because this is the classic Chanel lipstick that has a very luxurious sheen. At the same time, they are not too oily looking like Rouge Coco Bloom because Rouge Coco Bloom can be a little bit too shiny, especially in the summer months. But this is the classic, the most beautiful and the most elegant form of a lipstick, in my opinion, of course. Rouge Allure is my favorite lipstick line from Chanel, without doubt. So the first color that I decided to purchase is 206. And this is the palest color. This is a gorgeous beige nude color. Now I have to say that 206 was one of the colors that I really wanted to purchase from this collection because it's very hard to find actually such a pale, beautiful nude lipstick that doesn't have rosy undertones because this is this is a true nude lipstick with beige undertones. So this is a very nice, very beautiful pale beige lipstick. I think it's going to suit mostly people who have fair skin tone. I adore this lip color. Now, probably right now my eye makeup is a little bit intense and that's why you're not going to be able to see very well the color and probably not you're going to see it, but probably not appreciate it very well. Now, this lipstick is going to be perfect for those no makeup makeup looks and for this very natural office friendly look. This is the look that I absolutely love. I, I think that this shade in particular is going to be a limited edition. I'm not sure, but I may actually get a backup. I'm going to contact my Chanel consultant and see if this is going to be a limited edition. I'm definitely purchasing a backup of this one. I remember that I had a similar lip color when I was in my early 20s and I this was like my everyday lipstick. I was wearing it every single day. So I feel very emotional for this color. It was not from Chanel back then, of course, but it was my favorite and my only lipstick. So really, really love this color. I could not recommend this one enough. I think it's a beautiful color. Okay, so I just wanted to show you these two colors because they are quite similar. This is 209 and this is 199. These are both so beautiful. And these are both so extraordinary, so beautiful. So 209 has a little bit more brown color. Next comes 209 and for me this is a statement brown lipstick. It still is kind of nude lipstick but I would say that it's definitely a statement nude lipstick. Now I could probably apply even a more sheer layer of the lipstick and sheer it out a little bit. However, this is how it looks like and these lipsticks feel amazing on the lips. They are my favorites because they don't bleed. They have this very beautiful luxurious sheen but they don't bleed which is something that I truly appreciate especially for someone like me who has thinner lips. I don't like when my lipsticks are too emollient like the Rouge Coco Bloom because then I cannot really build up the color. I find that I need to use a little bit less because since my lips are a little bit thin lipsticks tend to bleed easier um, on my lips but this color is so incredibly beautiful i know that it's going to be beautiful for the fall season and for all seasons actually moving on to 199 and this is probably the most unique color in this collection it's actually very hard to describe the shade of this lipstick it's beautiful i think it's going to suit all skin tones from the fairest skin tone, of course for fair, fair skin tones this is probably going to be a little bit more um, 
full slash vampy lipstick. However, I have to say that the color here is so extraordinary. This is one lipstick that actually if Chanel keep in the range, I know that I'm going to keep repurchasing over the years because it's so beautiful. And of course, keep in mind that right now I have a certain makeup look. So just try to focus on the lip color alone without connecting it to the eye color, without connecting it to the eye look, because um, still, some of these lipsticks are going to look more beautiful depending on the eye makeup look. So try to concentrate only on the lips and only on the lip color, but this one, 199, I could not recommend this one enough. I think that 206 and 199 are really, really beautiful colors. They are probably the most unique colors in the collection and the ones that are you're probably not going to find I don't know, I have a lot of lipsticks from different brands, but these are truly exceptional. And now we are moving on to the last color. This is 204 and this is a true vampy color. Now I usually don't like to wear this color like this, like I don't want to apply fully the lipstick. I just like to use the bullet of the lipstick and tap it on my lips. I just wanted to show you how it's going to be fully swatched on my lips so that you can see the intensity of the lipstick. It looks scary on me applied like that. However, this lipstick was actually chosen by Nick for me. He absolutely loved it. So that's why I thought, well, I have to purchase it. But the thing is, I really, really love this lip color. However, I'm just going to tone it down right now because I don't like to wear the lipstick that intense. So I'm just going to turn down the lipstick now and I'm going to show you how I like to use it. Okay, so I sheared out the lipstick just a little bit. I can sheer it out even more. Usually I like to use this lipstick, um, just a very little of this lipstick. I like to tap it on my lips a little bit. And it's actually a great lipstick that I like to carry in my handbag especially on days when I'm not wearing any makeup on because it brings so much life to my complexion. I just like to tap a little bit on my lips and then apply some lip balm probably and that's it and it just brings so much life to my complexion. Now this lipstick definitely doesn't look good on me when I'm wearing eye makeup. I usually wear this lipstick only if I wear a little bit of mascara then this lipstick, a little bit of blush and that's it and it looks absolutely stunning. I'm looking at myself right now in my mirror and in the viewfinder. I think that the camera doesn't really do justice to this lipstick. It doesn't it looks dark, but it doesn't look scary in real life. It looks actually very, very beautiful. And somehow it brings out the blue in my eyes, especially when I'm not wearing makeup. It just brings out the color of my eyes. It makes them more blue. I generally, I have blue eyes, but it also depends very much on the clothes that I wear and on the makeup that I wear. Sometimes they're going to look a little bit more blue. Sometimes they're going to look a little bit more green. But this is a lip color that definitely brings out the color of my eyes and I really, really love it. So that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for joining me. Let me know what are your favorite products from Chanel Fall 2022 makeup collection. I can't wait for the holiday makeup collection as well. The information that I have for Chanel's holiday 2022 makeup collection is that it's going to launch uh, in November. If you're interested to see the rest of Chanel's fall 2022 makeup collection, including the tweed palettes, I'm going to make sure to leave links in the description box to my videos because I have a lot of videos that were dedicated to Chanel fall makeup collection. And also if you want to see what's coming for the holiday season, I'm going to leave a link to another video where I showed you what you can expect for holiday 2022. I need a little bit more blush, I believe, with this deep lipstick. This kind of deep, lip, deep lipsticks, you can always add a little bit more blush. So yeah, that was all for today's video. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye!